Seattle is one of the most left-leaning cities in the US, but still, inequality isn't hard to find. Well, just a few blocks away from the most expensive real estate in this city is just one of several tent encampments of the homeless. And this activists say is a very tangible example of the problems of money in politics. This region creates more and more millionaires by the day. There are many trying to fight the divide between rich and poor, like those at this meeting calling for measures to reduce homelessness. But many on the left are furious with the Democratic presidential candidate they've ended up with. Clinton is a corporate Wall Street candidate. Uh, she represents the, the, the problems that we're facing today. You know, she's the, the corporate politics that, that we've been dealing with. Sasha says while she could never vote for Donald Trump, she's going to go for a third party candidate to protest against Hillary Clinton, who she doesn't think is interested in reducing inequality. She'll get into office and I don't think that she's really going to do much to address those issues and that's going to spur on a lot of uh, protests. We need to give Hillary Clinton a Congress that can continue to pull her to the left on places where we need her to be pulled to the left. As a campaign event, we find Pramila Jayapal, a progressive Democrat standing for election to Congress. She too is upset at big money in politics. I mean, guns is a perfect example. You know, we have we have tried to pass bills around gun reform in the state legislature, and the NRA has opposed every single one of those. I mean, that is certainly true locally. But she thinks a protest vote for a third candidate would be a disaster. Why would we waste that opportunity with a candidate who has moved to the left? Because the other alternative is to let Donald Trump be president, and I'm not going to do that. So while some on the left are angry, others think there's hope. But there is a large number who also feel utterly despondent. Matthew Stribe, another leftist activist, was excited last year when he thought socialist Bernie Sanders had a chance of beating Hillary Clinton to the Democratic nomination. But that balloon has clearly burst. This election is everyone voting about who they hate. Democrats are voting against Trump and Republicans are voting against Hillary. You know, as someone who is really excited about Obama in 2008, like, I want to be excited again. For those many Americans who believe the amount of money in politics is the root of so many ills here, it's not hard to see why some fear that won't change at all, whatever the result of this election. Aline McBall, BBC News in Seattle.